any industry, selecting the right business process automation tool is critical. A well-defined and well-executed business process ensures high productivity, lower cost, and better visibility. But a poorly defined and poorly executed business process in, in sh like delivers exactly the opposite. So the question is, how do you make your real estate operations more efficient and more effective by implementing the right business process, process automation tool? Hi, my name is Rehan Imad, and I'm the business developer and executive at Crest Technology. And I have with me Irfan Bird, the CEO of Crest Technology, and Salman Ahmed, the Director of Software Development. And thank you gentlemen for joining me to discuss this topic. And uh, frankly speaking, it's like herding cats, getting both together <laughs> in a single platform. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. All right. So, Irfan, before we jump into the workflow management solution, can you explain the business process challenges real estate organizations face today? Oh, well, Rehan, uh, there are multiple challenges the organizations face in the real industry in terms of business process management. So, uh, the first one is that uh, different departments in real estate companies, such as uh, finance, asset management, property management, legal, HR, you know, these departments have their own data, documents, and business processes. And uh, within the departments, they perform different type of activities related to all of these things. Um, and yes, they do depend on other departments for certain activities, uh, but the challenge is that they don't have the visibility uh, to, to know what is going on in the other departments, right? So because of this lack of visibility, there is this lack of uh, actionable intelligence. Uh, and the lack of visibility just result in people not being satisfied with the jobs and not aware of what is going on. So that's one thing. The other thing is that uh, systems are used in different departments, different systems are used. There may be property management systems such as MRI, ERD, RealPage, BTS, whatever, there may be other kind of tools such as Excel spreadsheets, investment management software, um, budgeting and forecasting tools such as Argus and so forth. Uh, but the challenge is those systems are used by different departments and they don't talk to each other. Those systems do not talk to each other very often. Um, and so that is uh, one of the problems where you know, because of this lack of system integration, again, it, it adds to the silos. Uh, people are stuck in silos, uh, and that results in lack of visibility. And with these silos, you don't have a centralized dashboard where you can see what is going on. Right? So that's basically, these are the main challenges facing real estate industry in terms of business process management. So, gentlemen, uh, with your broad experience with the real estate industry and technology, so what do you think are the key components of a real estate workflow automation tool? Right, so first of all, uh, Rehan, <coughs> I think we have to be clear that uh, technology does help with business process management, but technology alone cannot uh, handle or solve all the problems related to business process management, right? Uh, first of all, there should be uh, the organization, the departments uh, should be uh, willing to collaborate and willing to share resources. So as far as the workflow management uh, components are concerned, the first key step is that you need to define your workflow steps. When you define your workflow steps, that becomes your work plan, right? Like, what is the list of different steps you need to carry out in a business process? So define that. And then um, after that, you have your role assignment. Role assignment is that uh, when wh whatever activities have to be performed uh, in as per the workflow steps, you assign those steps to individual roles within your organization. So certain activities will be performed by, let's say, the property manager. 
There are certain activities that will be property by lease administrator. Certain activities will be performed by the asset manager or the property accountant. Right. So the role assignment is very important. Uh, and that is the second part. And, and Rehan, when, when it comes to the uh, automation part, there are three core components. Like uh, the, the task automation, the uh, workflow automation itself, and, and the document uh, automation. When it comes to task automation, uh, it's just simply creating the task for an initiative for a uh, project. But when it comes to the uh, workflow automation, it, it is the initiation of the uh, any initiative or, or any project itself. For example, there is uh, a, a loan, loan critical date or lease options. So, these are the things where we can we can trigger our, our workflows automatically based on before uh, the the date arrives or, or when it is due so that there are as as Fan said that there are predefined steps for everything so if we have properly set up the uh, environment where we have the steps written already for and the rules assigned with those steps a automatic uh, loan process can be initiated and everyone who is involved in this process will be uh, notified and they'll be doing everything. There will be successors, predecessors uh, on those tasks, they can do that. Even uh, when the uh, document automation comes in place, uh, we can create a, a document based on template, a word document, a lease agreement, that thing can be created automatically within the system. Uh, the second challenge that we face is, is, is the mobility. The, the managers, the, the people are, are on, the, on the move when, when they receive such tasks. So system should be something like that they can control things with their mobile devices, with their emails. That's ease of use. You can yeah, say, right? exactly. A, a person is driving from, from New York to New Jersey and he can just on his mobile approach the things. And, exactly. and, and they, his team would, would be waiting for that. So let me add to that. So one of the most important thing uh, uh, for the executives is that they simply do not want to use the systems. Right. <laughs> and this is not to put executives down. It's just a reality. Right. People are on the move. They, they, they want everything on their fingertips. So uh, when there is a workflow which requires a step that they have to perform, perhaps it's an approval. Right. For an investment, uh, you know, or any any type of other approval, uh, they they need something on their smartphones that comes in and they say, okay, this is what you need to approve, and all they do is click something and boom, it's done. Yeah, they, they don't require to uh, uh, sign in to the workflow in the system. It is on their mobile already with with their emails, and and like the most important thing is that system should be integrated. Like, there are many companies who are using Entrada as their uh, property system. Some are using MRI, some are using Yardi, some are using Yardi and Entrada. And, and they, they will be sometimes be using uh, multiple instances of Yardi. So they, they have their information in their system, but it should be integrated or, or they all be centralized all together. So that that information can be captured in one place and uh, through that information the properties, the tenants, transactions, loans, legal entities, all of the information, the, these are the initiators of the workflows. So if those that, that information is available within one system, a workflow can be initiated through that. Yeah, and as Irfan mentioned the challenge of you know, one hand that will know that by having the system integration, yeah. we can make the like make like this like one hand will know what the other what the other is doing. Yeah. And and like if there are like dashboards available uh, for the department heads, they they can have an overview of the entire department. Mm -hmm. Every task a single person is performing, uh, a department head can see that on his fingertips. Yeah. Whenever he just logs into the system, there's a pop-up screen, and the boom, he, he knows everything about it. Not just his department, if they're like CEO, CFO, they can see entire, the big picture of the entire company, what's going on. And they, 
That, that's how they are going to identify the core issue with the thing. Exactly, that's what the pain point of CSO is right. nowadays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, 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 and uh, lastly and most importantly, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we need to improve business processes, right. right? Every organization wants a continuous process improvement. Um, you know, when you have a good workflow management tool, it allows you to improve your business processes over time. And how do you do that? The tool should be able to give you uh, data about how different tasks are being performed over time. Uh, is it taking longer than you had planned? Is it taking shorter than you had planned? Is that task even necessary? Uh, so, um, with a tool that can do that, uh, you have a better ability to improve your operations and what we call the operational maturity, achieve operational maturity over time. Exactly, and, and as per you say, that there are seven key components which I can compile at the moment. Mm -hmm. Like you say, first of all, we should have some workflow steps. Right. We should have uh, flexible rule assignments. We can, we should automate the things together, mm -hmm. and we should have some mobility mm -hmm. that's ease of use, and we, we should have some in system integrations, mm -hmm. business intelligence, and that's most important of all. That is operational maturity mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, that's the real thing. So, uh, Irfan, as we know that CREST workflow automation mm -hmm. is like the part of CREST real estate solutions. Mm -hmm. And that's actually a bunch of document management, contract management, asset management, transaction management, loan management, legal entity management. Mm -hmm. So, how CREST can help, considering this, how CREST can help with workflow management? So, uh, Rehan, CREST workflow management allows you to, to streamline your business processes for any type of initiative. Any initiative that involves real estate, people, and processes, uh, you can streamline that process and have improvement in your productivity. Uh, with CREST workflow automation, uh, you know, you, 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 can, you can achieve that uh, by different, different ways. Uh, what we have learned in the industry is that uh, a lot of real estate companies, our customers when they came to us initially, they were struggling with not having visibility about um, who's working on what, who dropped the ball, you know. Their real estate uh, business process involves lots of activities um, from lots of people and they have to be done in a timely manner. If they're not done in a timely manner, you have a problem. So um, with, with uh, this kind of challenges, they wanted a tool that could do task assignments, that would send alerts to people so that they can stay on top of their tasks. It can provide compliance built into the tool. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and then, you know, eventually, uh, to be, for them to become more productive. So this is what CREST does, right? CREST workflow management allows you uh, to uh, automate your business processes, automate your uh, task assignments, automate your document management even. So with CREST uh, workflow uh, management, you get a centralized dashboard, you get a compliance uh, dashboard, where you can see all the workflows that are in progress. You can also see all the tasks within a workflow that are in progress. That way you have clear visibility. Users can, when they log into press, if they have tasks pending on them, if they have uh, workflows that are delayed, uh, you can clearly see uh, you know, why that is happening. And that allows you to come on top of things and bring it under control. Exactly that, and this thing can eventually you can say automate the whole workflow steps and whole workflow automation process, management process. Mm -hmm. So here's there you have it. Cress can help you with business process management. However, technology alone, you can say as you said, technology alone cannot solve the business processes. So success first requires the willingness to share the resources between the departments. 
a successful workflow management solution should allow for reusability, flexible task assignments, automation, mobility, system integration, business intelligence, and most important of all, that's operational maturity. Grass workflow management manages any business process related to even real estate as well as corporate and departmental workflows. We welcome you to get in touch with us for a demo of a fully automated workflow automation solution. Please contact us to get started. Thank you very much. Thank you. The real estate industry faces productivity challenges such as data and process silos and lack of systems integration and they constantly struggle to find solutions to these problems. This is where Crest steps in. Our Microsoft 365 based real estate productivity solution integrates with any property management system and consolidates your data, documents, business processes and business intelligence to enhance your productivity. Crest features allow business process management including documents, contracts, portfolios, transactions, legal entities, loans and workflow management. Crest Real Estate Solutions provides centralized visibility to business processes and an opportunity for open collaboration. With Crest Real Estate Solutions, we can overcome productivity challenges and remove silos. Contact us for a demo to get started.